We're getting some breaking news coming in. Pakistan has been exposed and embarrassed globally yet again. A joint protest was organized by activists from POK, Balochistan and Sindh outside UNHRC in Geneva. We will get you those pictures right now where... Where, people, where activists from POK, Balochistan and Sindh have been protesting outside UNHRC in Geneva against Pakistan's human rights violations. We have Aditya on the phone line. Aditya, what are, what, who, what are these activists demanding right now? Well, uh, Sanika, even as uh, we are continuously seeing Pakistan accusing India of uh, diplomatic harassment, in reality, uh, the reality is out and open. We are seeing this massive protest, a joint protest by... Uh, the Pakistani citizens, these are activists from Sindh, Balochistan, as well as Pakistan occupied Kashmir. And the protest is very significant because it happens during the 37th session of the UN Human Rights Council right outside the venue in Geneva. These protesters are chanting slogans against the Pakistan army and the Pakistan government for the continuous human rights violations, uh, the kind of atrocities that they have been suffering and are chanting slogans uh, uh, because of the illegal occupation of Pakistan. Their slogans like Kashmiris want freedom and uh, you know they are chanting slogans against the atrocities of the Pakistan army. So yes, uh, for a very long time we have witnessed how uh, these people have been subjugated to torture, uh, rape, abduction and other kinds of uh, civil and political liberties completely withdrawn uh, from them, be it in Gilgit, Pakistan, in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, or in different areas of Sindh, Khyber Pakhtunwa, and of course we know what's the reality of Balochistan. So all these groups have come together. They are speaking both inside and outside the United Nations Human Rights Council. But these pictures coming in from right outside uh, the main venue of the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva, where all these activists uh, uh, of uh, uh, Pakistan have come together in slamming the Pakistan government for the human rights violations and are demanding freedom from the illegal occupation of Pakistan. Yes, Aditya, thank you very much for getting us that latest update from Geneva where POK and Balochistan activists are protesting against Pakistan, exposing and embarrassing them once again on the global platform. The Akhil Bharatiya Belgadi Sangatan on Tuesday staged a protest outside the Pune Collectorate calling for a ban on the PETA organization and to allow the organization of Bullock Kart races again. Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Raman Singh strongly condemned the cowardly and shameful attack by Maoists on CRPF personnel in Sukma and said Nakshals were afraid that development works will put an end to their activities. The Chief Minister also met with the injured Jawans. In a shocking case of medical apathy, a doctor treating a woman in Pune for breast cancer called a tantric to the hospital ward of the Dinanath Mangeshkar Hospital. The 24-year-old woman has now died. BJP blamed the Congress for the impasse in Parliament and dubbed it anti-democratic, claiming that the party continues to have contempt for democracy as it had during the emergency. UADAI said the requirement of Aadhaar for opening new bank accounts or applying for Tatkal passports will continue, while the deadline for linking it to existing bank accounts and PAN has been extended by the Supreme Court. Former US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton on Tuesday picked injuries in her hand during a visit to Rajasthan's Jodhpur and had to cancel some of her programs as a result. Hillary suffered a sprain in her hand and was advised to rest by a team of doctors. Sunil Deodhar, the architect of the BJP's Tripura Assembly polls victory, termed the CPM anti-national and claimed that the Communist Party accepted the constitution out of compulsion. Leaders of 20 opposition parties got together at a dinner hosted by UPA chairperson Sonia Gandhi to explore the possibility of forging a broader unity among secular parties ahead of the 2019 general elections, an event the Congress said was meant to promote amity and friendship. Film actor and Samajwadi party leader Jaya Bachchan refused to comment on Naresh Agarwal's controversial remarks about her. When asked for her reaction on Agarwal's comments, Jaya said that she is stubborn lady and she will not answer.